Good afternoon. <clears throat> well, uh, kind of excited. I've got a, uh, I did a show a uh, weekend before last, or two weekends ago, and I did pretty good at that show, uh, Arts and Crafts Festival. But uh, a lady contacted me and told me she had a maple tree that she was, uh, uh, it had been damaged and all in, and uh, they were going to be taking it down. So she asked me if I wanted it. Uh, I told her I would be glad to come and get, uh, you know, what I could get out of it. But, you know, I can't do uh, all the brush recovery and all of that. And I'm not, I'm not going to get into all that cleaning up people's yards. Um, but I told her I would, I'd love to have some of the wood, you know, but uh, that I just couldn't get rid of the tree for. So uh, <clears throat> I don't cut people's trees down. So uh, anyway, she had a, a tree service was going to be cutting it down for her. So she told me, you know, I could have whatever parts of it I wanted to, and they were just going to dispose of the rest. So I told her I wanted the, uh, you know, the main trunk. Uh, and so she's like, yeah, okay, well that's fine. So uh, anyway, I just I went and got it today, and the tree service had everything cleaned up really nice. Uh, it was just the main trunk log laying right there in, in the yard and I, I went up there on my chainsaw and cut it in half. Uh, had to cut it, cut it a couple times uh, just just so I could handle it and get it in my truck. But uh, anyway, I, I want to show you this and uh, I want to show you how I'm going to seal this seal the ends of this thing up until I can get it cut. Um, my chainsaw after 20, after 22 years, uh, it's it's really starting to act up on me now. Uh, it 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 cut the log just fine, but once it gets hot, it starts uh, it don't want to run anymore. And uh, so I've I've got a carburetor and tune-up kit and all that coming for it. But uh, I just thought, you know, uh, I'd go ahead and seal these ends until I can get my saw fixed where I can or I can cut it into manageable pieces. But let, let's uh, let's get sealing this, sealing this log up. I'll show you the logs first. All right, well, we come around here and these are the logs I got. Uh, the biggest one is about 17 and a half inch diameter and it gets a little bit smaller from there. Uh, this is the smallest one end is right here. And it's, it's a good 13 or 14 inches. So this is going to be a really good score uh, on wood. It's all maple, and you can see the, the nice spalting and stuff down on this end. And it goes all the way through uh, up to this end. Well, actually, this is, the bottom, this is the bottom of the tree, and then it goes on up. So there's some on this end down here also, and probably on up into this log a little bit. But uh, anyway, these two logs, this one and this one, are going to be uh, turning blanks. I'm going to make turning blanks out of those, and I want to have this log uh, sewn up into boards. Uh, and I'll just I'll have it sewn up into one-inch boards on a sawmill. And uh, but what I want to do is you can actually see here where these ends are already starting to crack a little bit. Well, I'm going to try to seal this up so to slow that down a little bit. It won't stop it, but it will slow it down until I can until I can get them cut. All right. Well, uh, the way I'm going to seal these is I'm going to use old candles. And I've I I keep this rice cooker here. It melts down candles for me. You can see uh, I've been using it before already, but all I did was I just take old candles or uh, actually I bought these. These were brand new candles. I bought them at Walmart. They were the the like two inch diameter ones, pretty tall, and there's a couple of them in there, but they melt down really good and it's, it's pure paraffin wax, so it's really good for sealing these ends. So, uh, all right, well, I'm going to wait until this gets hot. And, uh, and melts all that wax and we'll, and we'll get sealing these ends up. Alright, the wax is all nice and, and melted now. 
so so we're good to go. Like I say, this is just paraffin, paraffin wax, and all I'm going to do is just paint it on. I'm just going to paint it on. And be careful though, because it is really, really hot. I'm just going to paint it right on here. And all this will do is just help keep. So I'm getting it all over my tailgate, but that's all right. It'll come off sooner or later. And you can use colored uh, colored candles. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's all the same wax. I like using this. Uh, I like using the white candles myself because it uh, you can see through it. So when I go to cut this pith out, I can still see the pith. It's not under some colored. Uh, colored wax but yeah just just coat it real good good heavy coat and it'll seal those ends up and keep this moisture in here a little bit longer than it would just normally so that's really that's really all there is to it make sure I got yeah okay I got all that a nice thick coat of wax and there's you know there's there's store uh, you can buy stuff to uh, seal these this wood up with I, I don't see why you would want to spend so much money doing something that that this is going to do by itself you know those candles don't cost anything and, and you can even use old candles that you know that you don't like or whatever just don't let that stuff flip in your face because it's hot and just get it on there real nice and thick real nice and thick logs are cold. I gotta make sure I get it all on there real good. But this is, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll continue on. I'll get the other ends and uh, make sure you get all the rocks and stuff off of your, out of your wood. Too. And right here in these cracks that are already starting to form and those cracks have started since in the last hour or so since I cut since I cut this log in half make sure you get plenty of wax inside that crack because it's the end grain is where you're going to lose most all of your moisture is through the end grain and this will slow that down Tremendously. Hold in that moisture, keep it from cracking until you can until you can process it. And once I get my chainsaw uh, back in good shape, I'll get it processed. I'll get all this processed. But anyway, that's uh that's that. That's what that's what I do. So we'll I'll get on the other end and uh, I'm going to have to turn these things around. I don't want that wax all over that piece of steel back there. All right. I'll see you later. Well, all right. Got all the ends sealed up real good. So now all I have to worry about is just taking it up there to the shed and, and unloading them. So by doing it all right here on the back of the truck, I didn't have to handle these things more than more than a couple of times. So once I got them loaded, uh, it really wasn't any problem to to get in here and seal these ends. Now I can just back up on the hill, up under my shed, and 
unload these things and they'll be ready whenever I get ready once I get my chainsaw fixed. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go in here and talk just a minute. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe found it informative. Uh, yeah, you don't have to have, you know, the expensive wood sealers and things like that. I mean, paraffin wax will seal that stuff up just fine. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, those, the, the wax that I used, I, I, they, were just, they were just candles. They were the, the two, two inch, two and a half inch candles. They're about, you know, six, eight inches long, whatever. A couple of them thrown in that rice cooker and about 10 minutes, you got, you got melted down candles. And, uh, you know, just get you an old paintbrush. That's all it takes. Uh, the, sealing the ends up is not gonna keep it from cracking, but it will slow it down enough to give you time to get to it and, and take care of it the way it needs to be taken care of. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, we'll see y'all down the road. Oh, by the way, uh, I've started a rumble channel. So now I'm on YouTube and I'm starting a rumble channel. I'm, uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking a few of my old projects off of YouTube and I'm putting on rumble. Of course they'll still be on YouTube also but I'm putting them on Rumble and uh, it just gives me another platform. It's going to be a little bit different than my YouTube channel. Alright so if you want to check it out just go to Rumble, type in my name in the search and voila. Okay y'all have a good day.